Hello, this is Ling Chi from Oriental Art Supply, brush painting for beginners. Um, as the holiday approaching, I'm following up to do another uh, simple uh, car composition. And I'm going to do it like last week, we did one on the uh, paper and glue it to the car stock, and then another one directly on the car stock. And I have a couple of samples here, and some of them just by using the companion set on the rice paper. And then uh, the other one is I splashed with the uh, metallic gold paint to make it look like a holiday. So a lot of you are traveling during the holiday to visit your family to keep everything simple. Then uh, one of the things I would suggest, take your companion set, which is not liquidy, so you can put it in your carry-on. Uh, this is a 12 color, our OAS companion set. And then I have one brush, uh, the new brush we have the, Evan help me, what's the name of the brush? The Panda Paw. The Panda Paw, uh, one brush should be able to do the whole composition. And, um, uh, and then the glue stick to glue it on the car stock or you can paint directly on the car stock. The car stock, uh, paint your own car, has changed in so many different stock. This is the, the newest one. We have tested so many uh, different car stock paper. This is the one that, that take the color very easy and uh, <clears throat> and then can also give you a good color for paint directly on that. Or you can paint on, today I'm going to paint it on P thick. And then after you paint it, you can glue it on the car stock. First, uh, to prepare the car stock, I'm folding the car into half and make an indentation on the top and on the bottom. To make the crease clean, I use the back of uh, my one inch flat brush and then I just use the, the handle of the brush to make a clear crease. So. One more time. I have a car stock. I fold it in half. And then go here and here. And then I use my the back of brush. So the first one, I'm doing it on the P thick. So I have the green. I mix a little bit with the yellow ochre. So the green will be softer than the straight green from the palette. And I'm going to paint the first tree a little bit taller and shorter than the second one. So start with here. So this is the repre representing the Christmas holiday tree, Cypress.
The second tree on the left side, a little shorter, like I said, but will be longer than the other one. So I'm using the two color, orchid and the green. So this new brush, Pando Paws, is soft, but then still have a very good bounce. So you can see that these tree dots are easy to do, and then without the tips pointing up on me. Okay, and then there is a little black in the palette, and I'm going to accent these trees representing the shadow of the tree. All right, and then I'm going to use a little green and a little black and blend in my palette. So if you're traveling, any kind of um, coffee saucer would do. So it's convenient. And then you have a little brown in the palette. Right underneath to show the shadow. And then I have some blue with the black. To ground this area. So uh, I prefer you use pea paper, dragon cloud that have some resist to it. The shrimp paper will be easily to torn apart with the wetness. And then the sky, a little bit blue.
and then we finish this. So the next one, This one I'm going to paint directly on the car stock, so I'm going to do it quickly without explaining. It's the same thing like um, on the thick pea paper, but just directly on the car stock. So I'll quickly paint so Evan's video won't be so long. A little bit black for the shadow. And then the green with a little black for the shade underneath the tree to ground the tree. A little brown underneath tone. All right, a little bit blue in the sky.
All right, so now um, I have a previous painted on the P paper. I'll show you how to I glue it on the cardstock. So you have the P paper, turn it over on the back side, and then use the office glue stick, Elmer's, and then you have the glue complete cover. These glue stick is purple, but they will dry clear. And then the paper is almost the same color as the rice paper so then you just place this on the top of the and smooth it out with your finger and then preferably put a hot bind or anything hard surface on the top to let it dry and will dry flat Happy holiday and we'll see you next time when we paint.